all right. Keeping with hip hop from the same oh. era, we got organized confusion, stress. Such a good one. And uh, yeah. uh, who picked this? Apathy picked this when we had him on the show. Really? But um, yeah. So tell me about organized confusion. Another Queens banger, 1994, one year after uh, Steve Biko. <laughs> I honestly think that this might be the most unheralded, like. Um, if there is a rap record in history that that didn't get its proper's, mm -hmm. to me it might be this record. Like I can still listen to this record, yeah, front to back, and every every second of this record is fucking amazing. To me. I will I will easily put it over certain things in like the 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 woo mm -hmm. catalog or the the native tongues catalog. That's no disrespect. I love those acts, sure. but I'm saying like. I literally think this album, as far as the rap records go, it's, it's, it's about as perfect as you can fucking get. As far as yeah. Um, I don't know, man. I, I mean, some of these are really hard to, like, to kind of put break the word. Down. But I will say that, like, the rhythm of both of them, in particular, Pharaoh, mm -hmm. but, I mean, you, you know, um, uh, they, they were both, like, right there in terms of just their, their, their command of rhythm. Mm -hmm. was so precise it really is it really is yeah. the, the only thing that I, I i can um relate it to is like when i listen to pharaoh rap and where he places his syllables over a beat i get the same feeling when i that when i listen to thelonious monk and where he places notes over a, a bar and there's there's really it's just two different um incarnations of like not, maybe not the same concept or idea but like very 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 similar if that makes sense yeah i mean it's like you think about like bring it on he's like when i'm and i'm and i'm and he's, he's, he's really like playing with like pronunciation and like cadence and like how you even say a word to make yeah. it like poetically fit it's just and, and everything has intent it's like if he's landing on the beat it, it just that's the best way i can put it is right. it feels like every syllable has intent like mm -hmm. when he wants to land on the beat he's right on top of the beat if he's he's dragging behind the beat it's very conscious he's not mm -hmm. like this isn't a habit like there's rappers that like they you know i won't name them but like they've they'll, they'll follow in a habit of rapping behind the beat and it just becomes a thing that they do and i don't think they're really even thinking about it with mm -hmm. pharaoh it feels like he's constantly aware of like precisely where his rhythms are falling it's, it, mm -hmm. musically if you didn't understand english i think it's completely fascinating from music <laughs> right, right seriously i, I right. think what you said of, about the song and the track also applies to the group i always thought this was the, one of the most unrepresented unheralded groups around uh, i mean when, when they first came out i remember listening to a, a tape uh with rockberry and hollywood, and hollywood basic i was in the back of his car and he said i got this group coming out and he put it in and i was just like who is this and you know like they were just so far ahead of their time oh yeah like, were releasing so hypnotical good. gases was oh, fucking crazy yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah, and you're like what the yeah yeah, a completely classic record. Uh, it's interesting. You said it's a record that never really drops, but I'm curious if you've heard the French Montana Pharrell usage of it with uh, "Bring Them Things." Usage of what? No, no, I have not. Of I'm this not. beat, yeah. Like so, basically, there's Wait, like a, this beat. Yes, yeah. they made it into like a club banger. Yeah, it's it's actually you've pretty got... good. No <laughs> like, shit. I mean, it's good. It's a good as a club banger. I mean, they're, they're not touching right. what Pharaoh yeah. did lyrically. I mean, yeah, it's. Yeah, yeah. It's you know you gotta turn 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 it down a little bit. Um, yeah. You gotta be in the club drinking your right. hand right. and you're you're into it. But yeah. like I I never took those things personally as like because uh, I know a lot of like guys who really take hip hop seriously mm -hmm. will like get in their feelings about that kind of shit. Sure. And I never really to me it was almost kind of like the op like re remember when J Lo used the loop that the Beat Nuts used, but right. then there was like, it was some shit because like yeah. well they didn't clear it anyway, so then it was like what the fuck are you gonna do? Mm -hmm. To me it was more like I took it as like J Lo thinks this beat is dope. Right, right, right. Not like J Lo's jack like ah J Lo's jack and Beat Nuts. Yeah. Well, I mean there's fucking you know chocolate and vanilla is completely opposite. So. It's a little, I th it's a little bit of both, I think. You know what I mean? Because on one hand, you're like, you know, I think, I think especially when you're younger like that, and especially during that era, there was like this, like, hip hop is mine. It's my little secret, and I, I like, I'm gonna share it with the select few in my group. You know what I mean? And you're, you're like, you know. And so then when you see something go to the J Lo record, and you're like, you know, hey, you know, you get kind of yeah. get that. 
offended. Yeah. I, I get it. I just think yeah. that there's inevitably, for me, if you aren't growing out of that at yeah. some point in your life, then you're you're kind of, you know, I, I don't think, I think you're, yeah, you're making yourself blind to parts of like, okay. you know, the world. Yeah. Sure, sure. All right, there it is. Organized confusion, stress. Okay.